China's central bank has vowed to step up support for the economy amid fears over the coronavirus outbreak. The spread of the virus has continued to rattle markets and disrupt supply chains. Now, the bank has already pumped in more than $240 billion into the economy after its national index dropped nearly eight percentage points. But officials are insisting that the economic impact from this outbreak will only be temporary. Yan the vice governor says increased liquidity injections uh, next week are expected to lower market interest rates that could affect the country's key lending rate, which will be reviewed later this month. Chinese policymakers are reportedly planning more spending and interest rate cuts to try to cushion the impact of the outbreak. Burdened by the ongoing China-U.S. trade war and sluggish Domestic demand GDP growth in 2019 was already at a 27-year low of 6%. Jia He Chen, Chief Investment Officer with Novum RK Technologies, joins us now. Uh, Jia He, good evening. What are your initial thoughts on the measures that China has taken so far to bump up financial support amid this coronavirus crisis? Good evening there. It's, it's been many measures taken by different bureaucracies of China, such as PBOC, People's Bank of China, the Ministry of Finance, CBIC, etc. So it's, it's hundreds of measures as I searched on the internet. It's, it's loads of them. It's, uh, every paper said a lot of measures like reduction of taxation, reduction of interest rates, reduction of rent, subsidy to companies that are strongly affected, uh, reduction of social insurance fee. These measures will definitely take their job. I mean, there will be some significant impact that they bring to counter this virus. Mm. Is it realistic though, Jiaher, to expect that the measures, as extensive as they are, are going to be able to turn things around in the short term though? Well, it would do some impact. It would do a lot of impact. But when you say turn around, it's definitely not possible. I mean, you're talking about a country with 1.4 billion uh, people. I mean, that's a huge country. You can't just turn it around with only some financial measures and monetary measures. Uh, the, the, the only thing that we are expecting is that the coronavirus passes away later on. The good news is that outside of cities around Wuhan, such as Hong Kong and Xiaogan, outside of these cities, Things are actually now under control. The new discovered pensions has been dropping for two consecutive days. The death rate is really low in these cities. So actually cities outside of Hubei, especially Wuhan, is actually recovering. Uh, Xi Jinping has said that he's confident that the country is going to be able to, uh, to beat this virus. He's called it the People's War. He's called the U.S. president to say we are going to beat it. We're so dependent on China's growth, though economies around the world. Will China still be on track to achieve its own growth of about 5.6% this year? Well, that, that will be a lot of impact. The, the, the growth rate, like 6% that China achieved in 2019 or 5.6%, might not be able to hold for this year, especially for the first quarter. But the good thing is that this is a temporary thing. Um, this, this virus has got a 14-day incubation period. Now it's been almost a, half, sorry, a bit over half a month since the Wuhan city was blocked. Uh, so it's been two days for the new discovered pensions to be going down. So the the rest of the country will come back to work very soon. Uh, this will not hurt China's long-term trend. But yes, I mean, if you talk about the GDP figure in 2020, especially the first quarter, that won't be very positive. All right, Jia He, thank you very much for talking to us this evening about how we can impact uh, this coronavirus outbreak to impact the economy for China. Thank you for speaking with us. Jia He Chen, Chief Investment Officer of Novum Arcade Technologies me. in Shanghai.